It's Dennis Jones with NJHotshots.com, and rarely does a game live up to its expectations, and even more rare for it to exceed those expectations. But that's exactly what happened when Paramus and Old Tapan met Friday night in a North 1 Group 3 semifinal. Let's take you to Old Tapan for this exciting matchup. Paramus visiting Old Tapan for a chance to advance to the finals in North 1 Group 3. The Golden Knights coming in at 9-0, Paramus 6-3. Out of the pocket is sensational junior quarterback Devin Fuller. He puts Old Japan up 7-0 early in the first. Just over a minute later, Paramus quarterback John Robertson on a keeper, avoids tacklers, cuts back at the end, and Robertson answers with a 42-yard touchdown run. The extra point try is missed, and it's 7-6 Old Japan. The Golden Knights respond. Fuller looks to throw but keeps it himself, and he'll score another rushing touchdown from 15 yards out, and it's 15-6, Old Tapan. But hold on, folks. This was far from over. Both teams trading touchdowns and big plays, one after the other. The Golden Knights looking to extend their lead, and Jeff Pinelli scores a five-yard touchdown run. Old Tapan with a 21-12 lead early second quarter. So you had enough of the ground game? John Robertson showing off his arm as he finds Mike Kazik down the right sideline down to Old Japan's 30-yard line. A few plays later, Robertson again around the left side, escapes a few defenders, touchdown Paramus. Old Japan still in front, 21-18. Both quarterbacks, Fuller and Robertson, playing extremely well in this game. Old Japan now going to the air, and it's Devin Fuller to Andrew Dobbich. A 61-yard touchdown strike, Fuller now showing off the versatility, and the lead is back to 11. Robertson and Paramus simply not going away in this game. Time running out in the first half. Robertson to Mike Usanich for a 17-yard touchdown pass. Then later, Robertson helps Paramus take its first lead of the game with only eight seconds left till halftime. Early second half, and it's Ulta Pan's turn. This time, Fuller showing tremendous speed. And the reason he's the most sought-after junior in the state, the Green Knights back up by five. But like any lead in this game, it would be short-lived. Robertson with the pass to Mike Urban, and the junior makes the catch and is taken down at the one-yard line. Next play, it's Robertson once again for the score, and another lead change, 36-35, Paramus on top. The lead changes continue through the third and fourth quarter, including this touchdown run by Fuller. Stat lines on both QBs. Devin Fuller rushed for 361 yards and six touchdowns, and pass for 98 yards and one touchdown. Robertson, 266 and seven rushing touchdowns and pass for 328 yards and one touchdown. An amazing performance by these two competitors and no need for an ambulance. You're seeing correctly, over 100 points scored with 10 minutes to play. Paramus was not done. On fourth down, Robertson rolls right, avoids a defender, and Robertson's seventh rushing touchdown of the day gives Paramus a one-point lead with only 5.57 to go. But in a game that saw some electrifying offense, it was ultimately decided on a key defensive play. Robertson fumbles the ball and it's recovered by Old Japan. Paramus clinging to a one-point lead, just over a minute remaining. Fuller hands it to Keith Rodman, who scores on a six-yard touchdown run to mark the tenth and final lead change and what many are calling one of the greatest games in New Jersey State playoff history. The 63-56 victory marked the first time two teams combined for over 100 points in a state playoff game. The Golden Knights celebrate this thrilling win and now have two weeks to prepare for Wayne Hills for the North 1 Group 3 final on December 4th at the New Meadowlands Stadium. Here's our star performer of the game, Old Japan's junior quarterback, Devin Fuller. So we had to stop him, which was <laughs> almost impossible. Give me that guy. You know, uh, give me Al Sharif. You know, that kid who made the sack. Great yeah. passer. Yeah, give me 59. You know, run all over us today. He did a great job, but uh, we were Old Japan that came out on top today. You know, we just had better plays and better positions. The backs that are fast are very dual threat quarterbacks are very hard to defend. So we know we have uh, when they go. Spread offense, they we only have one linebacker there. If you beat that one linebacker, you know it's a big game. So, you know, John's a he heck of an athlete. So, I know he's going to do great going over now. So, I just wish him the best of luck. I would just help my team win, you know. Like, the stats and whatever just come with come with uh, all the team building and things like that in the summer. You know, all, this team put in a lot of work. 
to be where we are now. No one thought we could be here, and you know, we were the only ones that thought it, and now we're here, you know, we're here.